Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another brand new Android Firebase tutorial and today in this video we are going to save multiple data in our Firebase console which is actually written inside our Android app. So if you remember in the last video we have saved a single data which is a single child inside the Firebase console. So today in this video we are going to save multiple data. So all you have to do is just go to the Android studio and you can see from the last tutorial itself we have a edit text and a button and also in the console we have a single child now in this video what we are going to do is that we are going to add one more plain text which is going to be the edit text now going to the text and simply changing this text into hint so this will be our key name which I want to just call it as key name itself and now the second one going to be the key value okay so as you can see now the first one is the key name and the second one is the key value so what it represents is that we have seen inside the android app development tutorial we have seen that there is uh, something called shared preference which we use it to save data and inside that we discussed about using the key and the key value so the key is a representation that we are giving and the value is the thing that we are going to store inside that and using the key we are going to get the data from its value and same applies to here what we are going to do is that we are going to give a simple kind of category or section to this and we are going to add the data inside this value so first thing is that we have to add the reference key value okay so once it is done what we have to do the next thing is that we have to convert its value as a string resource so just adding my key value data key value this is the edit text then get text to string okay now we have the second edit text and the value from the second edit text is inside the string which is called as my key value data and now what we have to do is that we have already defined the key name you can see this is the key name and this is the value of that key so in this video what we are going to do is that we are going to this is our project if you guys remember from the last video this is our project or this is our app and what we are going to do in this video is that we are going to divide this key and its value according to each of the users logging into this app if a new user is registered inside the app then it will be going to create a user here and inside that user as a sub menu or a subcategory it will be going to add this child name so to do that what we have to do is that we have the url so right now it is a native url in which there is no any kind of uh, slashes or things like things after a slash so what we are going to do is that we have to just add multiple things so i want to divide each of the users according to that so what i'm going to do is just adding a slash then typing users and just adding some other things like let me show you so i want to just give each of the user the name which is actually predefined inside the android device so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to get the unique id of a android device and use it as the name or the key so what we have to do is that we have to simply type I'm just going to create a string then uh, I want to name it as device ID then equal to then settings then secure so this way you will get the device ID then get string now we have the content resolver then the string name so the content resolver is nothing but our application context and now get content resolver then now we have to add this poma and now comes the string name which is secure then android id so this way we will be getting the android id which is a unique id for each of the devices and i'm actually using the same id inside here so plus then device id that's the string name so this time if we are running the application then we will be easily finding that there will be a subcategory which is actually the device id and after that there will be the key and its values so in this video we are going to add multiple keys and multiple values inside each of the keys what we have to do is that 
go back okay now this time we have to change this child name which is actually a static one and we have to replace with the value from the second edit text which is my key value data okay now we have the new edit text which is the my key value and we actually use it this as the key which is this child and inside the child we have the value from this first edit text okay so if you want we can also replace this child with uh, the value of that child so I'm adding it here so that is my string data which is going to get the name of the key or the child and it is updated with so we have to add is is updated with the key value which is going to be the my key value data so my key value data and that's it so let's go and try this in a real android device okay guys so we have the android app and as you can see we have given the project url with users as you can see so when the user use the app on his device he will be automatically creating a new user inside our project so in order to see that what we have to do is that we have to fill up so now i'm typing the key name as name and the key value as sabit pkc mno or anything like that and once I done, I'm clicking the button, it created a new user with a unique ID and inside that we have the key name and the key value. So now I'm going to change the key name and adding it as something like my skills and the key value with coding or programming. And now you can see it created a, another child inside that user so everything is come inside the project and inside the project we have different kind of users and uh, inside the users we have the defined data which are the key and its values so now i'm going to use a different device to log into the app and you can see after a typer everything i'm going to click the button and you can see it created a new user with a unique id so if you have any kind of questions then you can ask in the comment section below so if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and if you are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed before then hit that subscribe button so as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out